Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences is teaming up with Penn Medicine Lancaster General Health for a mass casualty incident simulation. Fox 33's Asira Williams joins us now live from East Lampeter Township with more on how students will be better prepared in case of an emergency. Good morning, Sayer. Good morning. So preparedness is the word of the day where students are going to be coming together and applying what they learned so far in school to almost real life situations. So to help me break it down is Kristen Zokoski. She is the director of excellence in practice. Can you tell me you have this part right here behind us blocked off what's going to be happening? So we will be starting a mass casualty incident and it will begin with um, a scenario where a truck runs into the side of our building. We have our chemistry lab up there and it will be an explosion and we'll have 12 injured patients that our paramedic students will have to triage and decide where they need to go. Some of them will go to LGH and four of them will come upstairs to us and our nursing students and our ultrasound students will then have to take care of those patients and decide um, who needs prioritize as far as who's the sickest. Mm -hmm. So you're, they're physically going to LGH and starting that practice there. Yeah, so the LGH side, um, they'll be taking care of those live patients and our students will be taking care of our patient actors. Okay, so I know you guys have your hands full today, but yeah. why is it important to get this hands-on, real-life simulated practice for these students? Yeah, so it's important to get that experience because when you graduate, you're put in these situations and you don't have that hands-on experience. You learn about disasters in the classroom, but whoever experiences a disaster before it actually happens. So instead of being the Monday night quarterback saying, oh, we should have learned this well now we're giving them that experience so they can um, learn hands-on it'll stick better it's not just classroom All right so I know this is a partnership with Lancaster General Health tell me how long does it take to put on something like this and what all goes into it? I know you guys have actors and fake blood there's a lot of moving parts how yeah. does it come together yes yeah, so we started planning this actually before COVID and then COVID hit and then we had to stop but we literally have been planning um, pretty much every other week every other Friday we would have a meeting so for about a year we've been putting this together there are a lot of people involved. We have the program director for the paramedic students. We have um, the program director for the uh, ultrasound students, nursing, so and then our simulation operations team, and then everybody at LGH. The call was always filled with a lot of people and a lot of planning and a lot of moving parts. So we hope and we think we're ready. All right. I guess you could say it's all hands on deck. <laughs> it is all hands on deck today. Oh, man. Sure. I wish I was a medical student, you guys, so I can get in on this because it sounds exciting and interesting and very uh, something that they can really hold on to yeah. for the rest of their career. Sure. So thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Listen, their mass casualty incident event kicks off at 9 a.m., which is just a couple of hours. If you stick with us, you'll be able to get a look into what that looks like. But for now, in Lancaster County, Sayre Williams, Fox 43 News.